Hello there, Aries. Your season is finished. So no longer happy birthday to Aries. We're moving into Taurus. So let's celebrate. Taurus season's awesome because even though your season was pretty awesome too, Taurus season is all about enjoying the luxury that our hard work has created. It's about enjoying the beauty, enjoying the sensuality, enjoying all the beautiful, wonderful aspects of our physical existence. So live it up. <laughs> live it up and enjoy your life, Aries. I'm Michelle B. And I got the hiccups <laughs> from drinking my tea. Make sure you subscribe if you love my vibe because I post readings for you two or three times a week. So... There's all kinds of good energy coming in. Readings on all kinds of stuff. So watch out for it. Here we go, Aries. Let's find out what your messages are. Thinking about that beautiful, luxurious time of Taurus. This is not necessarily just for right now. I mean, it could be happening right now, but it also could be something that plays out over the next month through the whole of Taurus season. I see there's some issues coming up. I got a big old stack of stuff that came out, including the Seven of Swords right in the middle. And we also have the Six of Swords. It's like being afraid to go somewhere, being suspicious. I feel like there's something going on where Aries wants something. Aries wants something and they think they shouldn't have it. The universe is always reflecting to us what we think we really deserve, who we, who we actually see ourselves as. So the universe is reflecting back to you, Aries that you're some kind of bad guy <laughs> for getting what it is that you want. You see this? Do, do, do. And I feel like it has to do with kind of a third party situation because we got this guy right here. Not happy, not satisfied with something that's happening in your relationship. Now, I might get some flack for this, for saying that it's okay to cheat on your partner or something like that. I'm not gonna say that, but what I, there's, because there's all kinds of different relationships out there. Whatever it is, you think, you think you're being sneaky about it. You don't feel good about it. It's something you don't feel good about doing. But sometimes if we just say what it is that we want straight out, it creates disasters that never needed to happen, right? So here's the thing, before you go running out and doing something that you are gonna regret later because you feel like it was underhanded in some way, you felt like you shouldn't have done it, before you do that, you're like, but I do deserve it because I'm not satisfied in my relationship. And sometimes you just gotta help, you gotta do it, you know. Or, you know, I'm not hurting them. Before you do that, get straight on what it is that you feel like you can't get out of the, the partnership that you're in, the connection that you're in, right? Why is it that you think that you can't just ask for what you want when it comes to that connection? I think that there's, like, there's some things, there's some things that, that humans do that are absolutely immoral and not okay, so I'm not condoning that. But then there are some things that are like, it's just basically our society has decided that it's not okay. It's not actually hurting anybody. You know, it doesn't have anything to do with children or, you know, hurting anybody, right? So I'm not judging. I'm just saying, get straight on why. <laughs> get straight on why. Let's get some advice here. Get straight on why. You feel like you deserve something more than what you're getting, but you also feel like you deserve to stay in the connection. Because if you're not totally happy, maybe your partner's not totally happy either, and you need to have a conversation. The world, there's, there's the world is in reverse. It's like it's talking about cycles that need to end, and then you're afraid to end them. So is it that you're afraid of being alone? Fundamentally, Aries, are you afraid of being alone if you tell your partner that you're not happy with the relationship and you'd like to pursue other interests? Hmm. What else do we have here? And we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is definitely afraid of being alone. She was in the reverse. She's afraid that her cup won't be filled, okay? She's afraid that nobody will be there. It's a risk, right? Sticking your neck out and breaking up with somebody that you're in a relationship with. Um, it's a risk that you're gonna have to be alone. But fundamentally, we're all, we're all kind of alone, 
right? But we're all, all one at the same time. So I feel like it's more, it has a lot more to do with um, ch a childhood attachment trauma, that fear of being alone, than it has, than it has to do with um, the relationship actually being that great. Because I think it wasn't, maybe the relationship isn't that great in the first place. Okay, if you're like, if you're not sat, this is the satisfaction card. It's not satisfied, right? Maybe the relationship isn't that great in the first place. Maybe it's not worth keeping. And both of you are just afraid to end it. And this happens so often in relationships that people are afraid to end something. And they'd rather go out and cheat than actually do something about the relationship that's not working. Either making it work or ending it. Think about that. Think about why it is that you're afraid to be honest about this. All right, because I feel like there's some cycles that need to end. Either the cycle of unhappiness needs to end by both of you investing into the relationship better, or the cycle of the relationship needs to end. Okay. Something needs to change. And Taurus season is bringing it back to you because you're ready to be happy. You're ready to live in luxury. You're ready to live in comfort. You're ready to get rid of the drama, even if the drama is only happening inside of you right? You're ready to release any inauthenticity that's associated with you. Taurus is doing that. Okay, this is where I leave off. I love you, Aries. I hope you had a great birthday, and I'll see you later.